Is it on? All right, Grand Risings, or good afternoon, or good night, or good evening, whatever time you're going to be listening and watching this. I am making some meatballs, Italian meatballs, for my children, okay? So I've added some one pound of ground beef, some milk here, and then I also have some onion in there, one chopped, coarsely chopped onion, garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, Himalayan salt, and pepper in there, okay? All right, now, and also some breadcrumbs and a little bit of flour. Giving it a little bit of a stir. Oh, my God. A little bit of a stir. And I'm going to be putting that onto my sheet here. All right, and I probably should dust with a little bit of powder. I just like to do that with a little flour just to make sure it doesn't get, like, you know, wonking all over the place. But if you don't like, you know, the powder or the flour, putting it on there, a little cornstarch, you don't have to, Okay. Let me grab the cornstarch here. This is just to make it knock the stick. Or you can use a non-stick bacon dish, okay? If you're so fortunate, I just dust it like that. Something I just learned from my parents. Okay? Give it a nice dusting. It might be a little bit too much. Let me go get some of this off. Now, the trick is you do not want to over stir. I wonder why I keep going in and out like that. I got a little cornstarch on this fine. You don't want to over stir your meatballs. That's going to make them really, really tough. And if you use a lean grade of the ground beef like I do, you want to add some fat to it. Okay, fat is healthy. Some fat is healthy. So you can use some olive oil, a little bit of dash of, I use some olive oil here. Or you can use a little bit of dash of avocado oil or a little bit of melted butter, whatever you like. Okay, and that's just to add a little bit more of that fat back into the meat mixture. Don't over stir, okay? Now you can get your, take your nice tablespoon here, and we're gonna get them formed into some nice balls. You can toss it around like that, all right? And form it just like that, all right? Now sometimes, okay, it will, they are gonna expand, not sometimes, they are gonna expand, so you wanna be mindful of that and leave enough space there. And then you want to make them a little bit smaller because they are going to expand. And I might have to use um, another pan as well. Okay. So one pound is supposed to give you, depending on the size of how you make them, between 30 and 40 meatballs. Okay. I'm going to make them probably actually a little smaller than what I normally should. Okay. And I'll show you guys the end product. 